You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to check out the next retro Happy Meal toy set in the McDonald's retro toy series. And what that is is just older sets of toys that I've been able to find with the original Happy Meal box at the time. So if you were sitting in McDonald's way back when in 2000. Eight, I believe, yes, 2008 is when this says, then this would have been the Happy Meal box you got at the time, of course, with just one toy. So this is an eight toy set in the Happy Meal box. So when I come back, I will check out the box and then move on to the toys. All right, here we go. This is the box. I'll give it a quick turn. Looks like the movie was rated PG. And then there's little sayings all around the box. I won't read all of them, but you can read them as I go. And then can you spot thimble tack around the box so it looks like there's a little puzzle area it looks like there's something up here too that maybe you can read not sure see the unseen shine your new toys light into the seeing stones objects will appear oh so those are the seeing stones and then there's a game here it looks like spiderwick spy play with a friend spy an object around you give your friend hints about it can they guess what it is with less than 10 clues and there is the last side capture the goblin all right I'm loving it. Let's see, at this time, the next toy would have been Year of a Million Dreams from Walt Disney. All right, there you go. That is the original box. No original food. Glad about that. I wouldn't want food from way back when. So let me now get out the toys here, and we'll check them out one by one. All right, the number one toy, and they all have this brown look to them, is a Thimble Tack toy. The Spiderwick Chronicles, only in theaters. Numero uno. And these, again, were dated 2008. It looks like there's a little pamphlet inside, so we will see if the toys do anything or they are just figures. Oh, I get my little spyglass. Here's everything that's in the bag. Yes, it looks like you hold this up to your eye. And then this one here has something, maybe a light in it. Ah, very interesting. Ooh, a red light. So you hold him like this in front of you, and you aim it at the goblin. Oh, the Bogart. Is it Bogart or Bogart? I don't know. I'd have to see the movie to know for sure. So if you do know, let me know. It looks to be something like that. So I'm shining that and looking through that. Maybe I can get that to work for you. Let's do it now. So let me bring in the box. It looks like you're shining it at something. Oh, here's the other side, by the way. That's a little brochure that came with it. Well, let's look at him a little bit closer. Anything move on him? Head turns, arm turns, legs, stationary. That's just a little creaking of the plastic. And then, of course, this lights up. All right, let's put your arm back. Very nicely detailed and colored. It's good to see. So let me see how this actually works, if I need the box or not, and then I will come back once I figure it out exactly. All right, how appropriate I've moved into the dark. I do have a light on because it seems that if it's too bright, it's hard to see. So I'm pressing the red button. I'm putting up my eyepiece. Now watch. You will see the figures in the background there. So that's how you do it. See them in there? Okay, maybe the camera's not picking it up perfectly, but now we understand how this works. All right, so let's move on to toy number two. And it said you'd get one of two eyepieces. I'll show you that again in just a second, but now you can see it. All right, I'll be back. All right, so as you can see, it looks like we had the number one in there. It's really hard to see, but I think that was the one. It does say toy comes with one of two images shown, okay? For so the number two toy, this one is Hog Squeal. Looks like it's another pressing and lighting type toy. Let's get him out. Dump it all out, all right. And then it looks like there's a piece of plastic covering that, which there is. And then this, okay, this lights up and then head turns. All right, good to know. And he's not standing up. Oh, his legs turn. Okay, he is set. Ooh, let me cut out the little eyepiece here. All right, and then it looks like, so he has an eyepiece also. Now let's look at the picture. 
It looks as though now he has the crow or the goblin. So I won't know. I'm going to hold them all up later. I bet you at some point all of them are included in the complete set. So I don't think there's any that I'm not going to get now. Well, let's just turn him around before we move on to toy number three. Which, by the way, is the Humming Sprite. I believe there is a video that shows some of these toys, not the complete set, so... Let's move this in. Number three. Number two, you are done. So the Humming Sprite. I'm assuming it's like a hummingbird type character in the movie. I gotta see this movie. You know, I might have seen it, I don't know, it's one of those things. It's from a while ago. Well, look at that. Very cool figure in the pink, pink. And the blue wings. And here's one of two again, so it's a little bit different eyepiece. And then lights up, so. This one's got an orange light. Ooh, not a red light. Red light, green light, orange light. And then the eyepiece, let's see. Now all the eyepieces are the same shape and design from what I can tell right off the bat there. Okay. So that is, make a little room here, toy number three. So let's move right along. Number four is the goblin. Ooh, the goblin looks to be the scariest one of them all. Besides the Mulgarath. Ooh, the Mulgarath. All these cool names of creatures. Now someone had to be a fan of this movie. Someone has to tell me this was their favorite movie. Please. Well, only if Dion's about it. Okay, number four. Okay, I ripped him out of his... Ooh, look at that. Arms move, legs do not. Lights up in one eye. Ooh, check that out. Pretty neat. And here's his little eyepiece. I wonder if there's an easier way, like if I get one of my other lights to shine through these. And this either has the thimble tack or the hog squeal. Okay. Kind of getting the drift of what's going on here. Cool looking character. His back, ooh. It's like a loofah sponge almost. The cells messed up. Crinkly. All right. The water sprite. Let's see. Ooh, look at her. Let's see how she lights up. Okay, red. Not a very solid red, it's blinking. And let's see, we're gonna have to move our hands forward, I think, to get her to balance correctly, to get the weight right. There we go. Numero five, you know. Let's cut that off. And then I'll show it to you. Set it here, and I'll show you the picture. So there's a sprite or a sprite. So you get one of the two sprites so I bet you each one of those has one, and by the time you're done, we will see. Number six is the Bogart. I want to say Bogart. But I must err in my lack of knowledge of the movie. I do apologize. But if you're a fan, you should be happy that I'm showing the toys, right? Okay, he's got a very weak light. And he's got funny feet. Funny feet. So he's either going to be the thimble tack or the hog squeal, okay? So I'll take out his little eyepiece. Ooh, what's in there? We will find out. All right. The next one is the Yellow Flower Sprite. So let's put that there, let's put that there, just a few more. I think I have enough room. I'm not gonna stop and try to 
clean up in any way. These are such cool creatures. So the sprite or sprite in this one, just like the last sprite. The eyepiece with that one. Interesting set here. I'm not giving you a good angle. Well, I'll show them all again and give you a nice little look at them. I'll bring out my stand. Spin them. I haven't had a good spin on my toys in a while. Okay, the last one. The most scariest of them all, I think. More than the other one I showed you. More than this guy. Is this guy. The Mulgarath. The Mulgarath. The Mulgrath, that's probably how it's in the movie. It's a Mulgrath. Okay, it's cut open. I don't even have to cut that. And then this one has the goblin or the snake. So that one is not an actual figure, the snake. Did I hold that there long enough? But still cool. Where's he light up? Oh, yeah, right in his mouth. He's like a beacon. Got some big arms, that's for sure. And look at his back. It's like a rocky crevice. All right, I bet you want to see inside of all these. I bet you do. So let me get my spinner out. Let me show you the toys one more time. Then I will show you all the eye pieces. I'll do that last. All right, so a quick tour of all the toys again. Starting from the number one toy all the way through. Did you have a favorite character in the movie? This would be the time to tell me. And here we go, up to number eight. So this was toy seven. This is toy eight. Now I went ahead and I numbered each one on the back just so I had a little number on there. See, number one. So I'll be able to match them back up to the original toy. Number two, all the way through. So that's how I'm gonna now probably turn off the lights and show them uh, show them lit up and I might try a different lighting maybe a different light of mine to see if something else will be easier to show you and stay focused so that is the eight toy set now let's look at all the little eye pieces and we'll see if we can see all the images inside here I'll stop there that was toy number one I will be back all right so I've had to do some adjusting here and I'll have to be quick because the camera tends to want to wanna go out of focus but here is the first one again and you can see those images in there. I'll try to hold it so you see the best one. All right, there's number one. Now, if you turn it or flip it, it will change our perspective. So I have it kind of this way. See them in there? All right. And then number two. Here, I'll leave them off to the side here. Number two. That looks like the bird. Yes, it looks like the bird, doesn't it? Okay, number three. When the camera loses it, there's nothing I can do about it. All right, number four. Now when I do it with just my eye, it seems to definitely be better. So it's because the camera trying to focus and the distance. Number five, I believe that is. Number five. Here's number five. The bird came out nice, but then now it's there. You can see it. Okay. Number six. Maybe if you pause the video, you'll get a better look at it. Okay, number seven. All right, and number eight. Eh, it's not the best. Well, I tried. Some of them came out nice, right? Here, let me see. Let me just zoom in the camera a little bit. See, it has a real hard time when I do that. Let me zoom out. And bring this closer. No, it's still not. 
Let me turn off this light. It's better, but what's going to happen is it's going to go out of focus as soon as it decides to. It's going to want to go out of focus. All right, there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll just hold it there. And as always, if you want to see more retro toys, look in that description for a playlist. Or you could just search Lucky Penny Shop. And let me know, was this your favorite movie or one of your favorite movies? Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.